If you aim to sell anything, to make money from it, to garner applause, acclaim, or praise, the thing you are selling will be immediately limited in its potential of achieving something otherworldly. And most aren't looking for something otherworldly. They're looking to make money, and that's fair. It's a ridiculous thing to expect to not make money from something you're creating. But it is the truth. You have to truly know what you want. Much of my experience in building a brand was a subtle need for acclaim or attention. And that seed was a thorn in my shoe and it tainted everything I did. You can't see it for what it is. You can only see what you want from it. It's necessary to know what you want. And sure, that can be refined. That could be fine-tuned. But it has to start somewhere. I don't think my intent was bad. I don't think I even knew what I wanted then. But as that journey progressed and I was met with constant forks in the road, it became clear what my motivations were and, and where these influences came from. Most of those weren't my own. They were influenced by the world and things I may have read or saw, or just subconscious things that I may have picked up living in the world. I had an opportunity then to start from scratch because for me, the clarity of what I was involved in and what I was doing and where I truly wanted to go. I first needed to admit that to myself, but where I truly wanted to go was different than where I was heading. If you're climbing a mountain and you recognize that you have the wrong attire for the incline, wisdom says to get back down, get the proper gear, and then ascend the mountain. The fear of starting over for many people is what cements the death. I've worked with many brands. I've consulted with many brands larger companies, billion dollar companies, the problem always is in starting from scratch. It's always made with the attempt like, I recognize you're good because you've recognized the thing that I was hiding, which really isn't hidden. Anyone with clarity can see that. But what can I do from where I am now to take this knowledge that we have now discovered and use it? It never works that way. You must begin anew fresh and anew. You can't build something new on something old. It has to be cleared. It has to be examined. For me, the journey was about reaching an ultimate level. I'm not truly inspired to sell clothes or to make money from cereal or to make money in general. That's never been the mission for me. I realized that on this journey, money is great and it comes as it comes, but it's never the mission for me. The minute I make it a goal, then I'm locked into the race in a way everybody else is locked into. The interviews that I'll do and the way I'll post and the way I'll communicate and my very walk and talk will change. Now, it isn't bad to make money. There's nothing wrong with it. But even those who make money aren't serious enough in their chase, unless you're making a billion dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars, you're still in a position where you could lose it all and be broke again. If you're not rich enough to be bulletproof, then you always have to look over your shoulder. So then you're in no different position than I am. So it's really about realizing and recognizing that for yourself, what you want. Because if you don't, then you're going to be subjected to all of the pitfalls and all of the problems that come with not knowing what you want. It goes into the last message about being very clear about what you're looking for, even in searching for things online. If you don't know what you want, then you're going to be subjected to the how-to list and the 10 steps this and why you shouldn't do this and who's good and who's bad. That's all there is out there. Like, you need to have such a sharp scalpel and... That seriousness is far more directed at oneself internally than it is anybody else. It really has nothing to do with anybody else. It's all personal because it's you that's seeing the world a particular way.